Hey guys, how are you? I hope you guys have been having a good week thus far. So let's get into our video for today. Spirit, I call upon you. What messages do you have for our reading? What messages do you actually want out for not just the collective, but just people in general? What messages do the people need to hear on a spiritual level? If anything has been going on spiritually or here in this physical plane that doesn't make sense, what messages do you need to clear up? Are there signs for anybody who needs, who sees this video and they need this sign? Do they need this? So, thank you. Starseed Oracle, my eye was drawn to you first. What messages do you need to be spoke? Lost lands, soul memories, gifts, you've done this before. So I feel in the lost land, some of you are really tapping into your abilities, um, your regressed state. Um, I kind of feel like you're, you're waking up. You're remembering what you're supposed to be doing. Again, you're waking up. Um, soul plan, faded life versus destined life. Earth, learning how to be human. Some of you are having anxiety. And this is saying that you don't feel like you belong to anybody. You don't feel like you belong to this world. And that is simply not true. You are not for everyone. That says embrace your witness. Face your true north. Um, I do want to say if you guys are into astrology and you get your natal chart, your birth chart done... Um, I'm kind of seeing that either houses, not just your ascent, but your north node, because that tends to be the thing that you have to embrace versus your south node, which is more overly developed. <clears throat> so, like, with me, I have a south node in Scorpio. So I'm very open to spirit. But its counterpart, the north node, on its astrological opposite is Taurus. And so I'm learning how to embrace the Taurusian effects, the energy, and just allow it to come through with the stability or allowing that sensuality to be seen and to be stick and be firm and to do all of that. So I'm learning how to, to be if that makes any sense um i'm trying to really embrace that and so it's it's been a bit of a struggle for me but like i said your no <laughs> if you do your astrological chart your birth chart your north node should be something that you take heavy into consideration not just excuse me your moon your sun your rising your midhaven so really do that empathetic star seed absorbing what is not yours so some of you really just been called to helping other people or you've been around certain situations where you just you feel drained and so i can see that <laughs> you basically you stock your energy in somewhere that's not supposed to be and people are coming to you because they want more of you and you cannot do that. So we have loosen your grip coping mechanisms, a density addiction. Um, so this is like the one extreme to the other. So some of you may be in a toxic relationship or dealing with a toxic situation or finding stimulants or downers or something to help you cope with life. And this is saying 
instead of being relied upon, and this could be a person, this could be food, um, I'm even hearing someone may actually have an addiction to certain things, meaning like you could have an addiction to not just saying drugs or anything um, and people, what people do to other people. Um, you could be having addictions to yourself in a very unpleasant manner. Um, even having like coping mechanisms where you tell yourself like oh I'm gonna do this and you never do it or you do something to basically hide away what you are already feeling that you feel like you can channel it in another thing and it's never creative it just makes you feel worse some of you are having that so this defenselessness and like righting the wrongs uprooting is like you could be removing the roots of the past or your present and trying to build again or you could be dealing with constant connections to people in which they just leave you drained. They just make you feel rooted in a situation that you don't want to be in anymore. So some of you actually may have had a whirlwind romance or a world, a world of your own uh, freaking friendship that you wanted to, to presume more and this person just basically packed up and like skedaddled. This portal energy, though, is like you're stepping into something and you know something is coming. So, like I said, whatever you decide, you will get your just rewards. So, if you decide, you decide to open yourself up to betterment, you will get your betterment. It's just like it's got to get worse before it gets better to show you that you can't go back. Because once a door is closed, it's closed for good. There's no point in going back because you're like, oh, this is not what I wanted. This is saying, have a clear insight before you step into anything. Um, do your research. You'll survive this. New solutions, new beginnings. So yeah, this goes to the portal. So I'm being told to tell you that no matter what you choose, choose it for your intention and your good because you can't choose these things with other people because other people are not meant to be with you on your journey. They can help you, but you got to help yourself first that's that's how I look at it is like you have to help yourself first before you can help others and this is what what, what goes back to because I saw the air masks on airplanes so you know how they say oh you know do your own before you help someone else that's exactly what that metaphor is speaking of I really feel like whatever situation you got going on right now you just you got to rise above it. You have to speak your your heavenly truth because there's no point in staying in a dead situation or having dead air around something. Like sometimes your energy doesn't even need to be there in the first place. Some people will just basically use you because they feel dead inside is what I really feel like off of that card is people will use you because they feel dead inside. Um, some of you may be going through a transition where it's very painful. Um, you may be grieving a loss of a pet, a parent, a grandparent, a child, a, a family member who is super close to you, or even a friend, a co-worker, whatever it may be, but there is a transition in here. So it is, it's taking place, you know, you can't escape it, it's, it's coming, and just let it happen, just let it naturally unfold, because... The rhythms of life do not surrender to anyone, and you are not the exception. You were meant to have this. You chose to do this in the spiritual realm. You chose to undergo this transformation in this life. So don't delay it. Don't let yourself be talked out of it. I feel like some of you actually may be having a rebirth where you went from or an organized religion and you started finding different paths of spiritual awakening or remembering something from a past life that doesn't agree with your status quo I guess and you're switching over and it's caused a rift so maybe there's a deading of communication with the family I'm seeing um so if you're going through that my 
my sincerest, sincerest love because I can only imagine if you have to leave your community or the thing that's already established for you, but baby, that's, it's a false foundation and you don't need that. If no one can support your highest good, your highest high, then they don't need, because right, they'll, they'll get what's coming to them. So like I said, you know, for some of you who have this situation happening with a very strict family and you don't believe in it and you're like waiting for the day that you can get the hell out, I'm telling you, it's coming. Just keep believing, keep having faith. So it's not something you have to dwell in. It's not something that you have to do because if you dwell in it and it makes you sad, you're just fighting an uphill battle that you are just like <sighs> your battle broken you're like i don't i don't think i can do this anymore i'm telling you it's just one last leg one last leg and you can start your transformation and be a whole different person after because you have choices don't let them overwhelm you don't make them seem like whatever you have to choose you have to choose now your intuition will choose for you so don't let yourself be thinking I have to choose, I have to do this. No, your your intuition will guide you. So just be thankful and tell your intuition, intuition, I trust you because you know you are you see and you feel things that I don't feel. So I trust you to make this decision for me. I leave it to your capable hands because I know you would never leave me astray. If it leads you astray, it's not e your intuition, it's ego. It's another soul coming in that wants to pull you off this path so set from boundaries. Because I'm telling you, your intuition is ready to, like, hot and, and ready to be plugged in and, and to give you this. And I'm also hearing that intuition is also coming in the form of a friend. It's coming in the form of something that you wanted for so long, whether it not be a romantic partner but a friend that actually finally understands you, a community that finally understands you, like you will get that in so much more, I promise you. Just keep holding your faith, keep holding your intuition and keep practicing because I'm telling you, no matter what faith denomination or belief system that you practice or you like want to learn about, I'm telling you, keep holding yourself in that light, that vigil because it's for you, it was meant for you. Don't be suspicious, don't keep an eye out to be like the world is out to get me. Don't be paranoid and thinking some of you, like these people are gonna use you. Like no, no, honey, no. If that's how you feel, then you're not supposed to be around people like that. You need to get health because I'm saying that some of you, some of your mental health and your anxiety is just causing you to like, pull people left and right and I'm I'm telling you for one of you in particular that's exactly why people have stayed away from you or they pulled away from you is because your anxiety makes you say things that people don't want to be around and they don't handle you right because of the fact that they don't understand you because you don't allow yourself to be understood but fear not you'll get over this just work out your insecurities work how why you feel like this if you feel like you're a depressed Debbie Downer all the time Ask yourself, is it an environmental? Is it your food? Is it your thoughts? What, what, what could be causing this? Is it trauma? But tell me, your anxiety should not be keeping you up at night. Your medication should not be keeping you up at night. People should not be keeping you up at night. None of this should be keeping you up at night. So if you feel like you need to release, you need to get help, I'm here to listen. Like, I mean, I can't even begin to tell you how, what you could be going through, but always having an ear, someone who wants nothing from you other than your greatest good is the type of people you want in your life. Like, that's all I'm asking for is to please allow healing into your life, to be, and to remember that not everyone wants something from you. All they want is to see you succeed in life and to thrive, to be the energy being that you were meant to be, because I'm telling you, when you put stock in the wrong people, it hurts when that doesn't come back to you. And this is conditional. And it's not supposed to be like that. For this nine of pentacles, I also kind of get the feeling that some of you have 
put too much of your eggs in one basket like you didn't diversify so that's why some of you may be dealing with situations where you need to recalibrate or you need to basically pull away from because you just you're too invested so your eyes are just kind of clouding your judgment and you're just it's constantly making you work and so instead of releasing your burdens and and all that it's actually making your burdens harder for you to be lifted it's it's like you roll a boulder up the hill for the next day to roll that same boulder off like sisyphus so some of it is all just in your mind because some of you is just instead of being communicative or something like that you just you stop talking you don't trust people you're naturally suspicious of them or they're so you have to analyze what they're doing and this is saying it's actually left you with more more problems than it is good so you have actually some of you may have actually experienced heartbreak that you are learning to move on with so this three of swords who specifically what is what is the message for this so we have the queen of cups we have the worlds and the chariot and then finally we have the two of wands For you, some of this could have actually been a person that you love dearly. Like, you love this person too much. And this person you thought was your world. That you could have a family with. That you were planning for the future. And it was like this person was perfect in your eyes. But I feel like that illusion was shattered when you started feeling what was actually happening. So instead of seeing the bigger picture, you saw exactly what your mind spun. And this is what may have been keeping you up at night. This is why the illusion may have been coming through. Um, is because you were obsessed with that perfect life. And so... It just, it didn't work out. But this is a chance to learn again. This is a chance to to be again. And for some of you, it's a second chance. It saved your life. And I know it's super disappointing. It's super disappointing because of the fact that this illusion, this perfect man, and this perfect embodiment of this man that you were in. So some of this, this could have been a fire sign. Or someone who is, um, had, you know, fire in their chart, whether it didn't have to be an actual fire sign. So this person was, what you thought was absolutely perfect, the regal, you know, but that was an illusion. So when you started to see the bigger picture and you started to see what it, he was or she was, that illusion just melted away that mystery melted away and you were left with the actual raw ugly truth and i don't know why this is coming out but you know the the story of dorian gray how like he would stay youthful but his his portrait after he sold his soul for youth his soul would become uh the painting would become a reflection of how ugly he truly was um, in the inside, his soul, um, even though he stayed absolutely beautiful and rot, you know, rotten to the core, but beautiful on the outside. Some of you were dealing with that Dorian Gray, that it's, <sighs> we've all been there. I will tell you, we've all been there. So don't, don't beat yourself up. If this was your first love, I'm sorry. It, your first love is always heartbreaking, but it's not going to be your last. It, like, like I said, you have your whole life to deal with this. 
to to be with people and i'm going to tell you if you don't heal correctly it affects the rest of your relationships and you can't expect someone to heal you you have to heal yourself as much as you know the right person will help heal you like if you don't even take chances to heal before your relationships will be sabotaged because you will always put that person on a pedestal you will always look at them in a false light and it's almost like idolizing them to be like, oh, they did this, da 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 you know, it's, it's like an obsession. And it's not healthy. And I'm going to tell you, the Queen of Cups, whether you are heavily waterly dominated or you have water placements, um, especially in your house of relationships, and marriage and things like that I think it's the fourth house or something um so you may have that um I want you to know that no matter where you go in life there's so many people out there that will touch your soul in ways just you got to make sure that you have the right proper vetting and things like that and I, I'm honestly telling you you can't be left in the past if you refuse to be in the past so don't <clears throat> don't cry over spilt milk don't allow yourself to dwell in the past because I'm telling you new opportunities are knocking for you um with this page of cups because I feel it's both positive and negative new opportunities are presenting themselves but a part of these new opportunities is you're going to be dealing with people who are kind of the same as, you know, people. They have, you know, flaws just as much as you do. So this is saying take it with a grain of salt and don't romanticize. Don't fantasize. Don't allow yourself to be swept up in the current and drown yourself because it looks good. Beautiful places are very destructive. And it's the same thing with, you know, plants, you know look at look at certain plant species they're very beautiful on the outside to attract their prey but they are deadly to that prey so i'm telling you don't let yourself get tracked up in beauty because beauty is only surface deep because you don't want to be stuck in quicksand with no one to help you when you're up a creek half without a paddle like who else is gonna to do this for you who is gonna who is gonna help you if you can't help yourself is what i'm saying um in terms of love work um in terms of love work um what exactly are we looking at in terms of this? Are we just seeing things that are meant to be seen? Or do you actually have a message for those that they need this as a sign? That this is their sign? This is their... This is their message. Practice patience. Practice perseverance. And practice your faith. Practice you... It, you got to set a routine and you got to follow it. You can't just let people push all over you. That's not, that's not fair to you. So, and I'm hearing don't be foolish with your time. Don't be foolish with your emotions and don't be foolish with your soul. You can't sell your soul. I'm telling you, you cannot sell your soul for this. So, if you have to feel like you have to sign a contract to deal away with your soul, chances are... It's too good to be true. Like, I'm telling you, don't let situation sound too good to be true. And don't fall for that trap. Don't fall for ego and all this. If someone's like, I can make you a celebrity overnight. So it's like, yeah, so you say you can make me a celebrity overnight, but how is your track record? Like, and just, and just walk away because chances are people who sell you illusion, they have a deep fear of being sold the same one so they will mask that by doing it to other people what has been done to them so you know what was prey became the aggressor so 
it's time for you to get the hell out. Trust your intuition because you're going to walk away battle, bruised, scarred, whatever. And if you can't do it, no one else can. That's literally what I'm hearing is decisions to be victorious whether or not you decide to. If you decide to take a journey, then you have to cut the BS out of your life. Like, you can't just be like, oh, look, like the flaming sword of truth. No, you have to cut the BS out of your life. Cut the BS. That's literally what I hear is cut the BS out of your life. That is the most potent message I can give you today. Um, so, Archangel Michael, the deck. Um, I don't know. I don't know why I said that like that. That was super weird even for me. So I have a message deck. Um, what messages do you... Decide to be happy now. Thank you for helping me open my heart to happiness, joy, and bliss. I'm now willing to see all the goodness in my life. That's, that's a great message. Especially if you've been dealing with depressive episodes or a lot of uh, anxiety. Are there any last messages? Write about your thoughts and feelings. Thank you for helping me tap into my God-given creativity and wisdom so I can clearly express and gleam insight, healings, and blessings. You're guarded and protected. Thank you for protecting my loved ones and me, ensuring that we are safe and all our needs are met. I now accept your help gracefully and gratefully, knowing that it is right for me and others to accept heavenly assistance. And this is forgive yourself. You've done nothing wrong. I says, I ask you to help me let go of self-blame and forgive myself. Please guide me in releasing any toxic anger or fear towards others. Thank you, Spirit, for allowing me to feel centered and at peace. For those that are going through these anxiety-ridden or emotional times because of these heartbreaks, what messages do you have for those that are going through this and they really need this message? self-respect dear god angels thank you for helping me see myself as you see me through the eyes of pure love thank you for honoring and respecting me please guide me to do the same for myself and grant me the courage to speak up on my own behalf i ask for your protection in all my relationships so that i may surround myself with kind loving people oh my gosh so thank you so much for watching thank you to spirit thank you to everyone and thank you to you being courageous for clicking on this video because I know it takes courage to sit down and listen to a tarot reader talk about something that you feel or you may not feel. So if you're going through this, just know I am here to listen. I listen and I will never judge you. I've been through some things myself. So I was really empathetic in this reading because I dealt with a lot of shit before I found the courage to respect myself and to love myself again. And so trust me, you'll get over it. You will get through it. Time will heal. So don't ever make it feel like you are alone because you're not. There is a community, a wide world community out there willing to help listen to you. You just got to tap in and ask spirit to guide you. Ask spirit to guide you to your connection and to your community because it's a beautiful thing when we can see people grow and they can start their spiritual journey and their self-discovery. It's always a beautiful thing to watch. And I don't ask for anything in return as long as you thrive and you, you know, you go out there and you help others thrive. You're a sunflower. Remember that. Just because the sun is out, even when a sunflower doesn't see the sun, it turns to others for their sunlight because they emanate it within. So remember, you are a sunflower. You're bright, you're beautiful, and you're bold. So don't ever let anybody tell you that you're just some meaning dandelion. What is a weed is judgment. What we perceive as a weed is judgment on our half because everything that we do, our mind will tell us otherwise. Ego will tell us otherwise. So thank you so much for watching. I love you guys. Peace, love, and happiness.